The cure for anxiety and depression is exercise. Too many people turn to drugs, or even worse, to try to get ahead. If you need to get out of your depression, you need to go work out. My name's Nick Tabor, I'm a personal trainer, and I've known about this because I've experienced it myself for many, many, many years. As a trainer, you run across all different types of people, but my specialty is in anxiety and depression, again, because I've experienced it myself. Since I was six years old, I always knew there was something a little bit different about me. Growing up, I have cerebral palsy, so growing up with um, the disability and, of course, dealing with everything that came across being the only kid, as something like David Goggins would say, being the only kid in the school that had the issues, it, you know, it dealt with internal issues that happened and I got very fat. I got very depressed. My skin was awful. Um, I had aches and pains almost everywhere, you know, from the stress as well. And, you know, my heart was having problems and I had rapid heartbeat and yada, yada, yada. And I'm sure, you know, you can... Figure that out yourself, you know? Um, you know, it's it's easy just to say, you know, go work out. And, you know, it's you know, I'm not saying, you know, you want to just go to a gym or you want to go ahead and go, you know, do whatever it is you have to do. Really, you got to do whatever you can. You always got to start somewhere. For me personally, I was 27 years old and I had the wake-up call from my mom. And my mom told me that if you don't do something with your weight, I was just getting married at the time. Uh, and she said, if you don't do something with your weight, you're gonna, your wife is gonna bury you by the time you're 35. Well, 35 years old, she still hasn't killed me yet, you know? Um, but it was a really good thing at, at that time because I had that wake up moment. I said, oh, okay, all right, gotcha. I need to do something, but I was 305 pounds at the at my highest possible weight. And I'm like, what am I gonna do? How am I even gonna start? You know, I started off by walking and it's the easiest exercise in the world to do is just take a walk, you know, whether it's walking to work, hopefully you live nearby where your job is, or whether you're walking to school or walking somewhere on a sunny Sunday morning when you really don't have anything to do just to decompress. All those work, right? So just getting started just by doing something. Um, as, you know, one of my clients was, you know, a big lady and I had her just Stand up from the couch and sit down. Stand up, sit down. Did that 10 times every single day until she got to do something more. You know, we loosened her hip joints a little bit. You know, she was, she became looser and it was, everything was fine. It was great, right? Now, studies also show that exercise, you know, back this up. Exercise is vitally important because it improves your mood. You know what's one thing that's really cool that I learned is it has the same effect in your brain as ice cream, candy, and any snacks that you might have. You don't need any of that, you know? You don't need any of those things. You need food in order to fuel, in order to create the great experiences that you have. But if it creates that same excitement, like you remember when you were a little kid and, you know, it was a birthday party and you got handed cake and ice cream, like... Ah, uh, here you go, and, and I, I still remember that. Like I've, I've got me had a big smile on my face just remembering a birthday party when I was five years old. You know, you know here you go, like hey, thank you. But you know what? I get that same feeling from when I get a good workout at the gym. Because what we have in your brain is called the endorphins, and I'm gonna get really technical for a second, but what happens is the endorphins in the brain start running and we, re we release these chemicals, the endorphins, at times when we have absolute pleasure. You know, fill in your head for what that is, but you just boom. And when you do things that can cycle through, as simple as exercise, whatever exercise it is, simple breathe. Plus, 
Personally, I think one of the best things, as we said, walking. Right now, at the time of recording this, it is fall in New England. Um, actually, just the start of fall. Pick a place nearby and just have a 10-minute walk every morning. That's how I get started. Even if it has to be a five-minute walk. You get outside. It's good weather. Hopefully, it's not too cold. Just walk. Put some good music in your ears. Deep breath, relax, and letting the oxygen in, slowly out, cycles your muscles, cycles through and just cycles and just calms everything down and lets your brain know, tell your body that everything's going to be okay and your body says, all right, we got you. And it starts calming you down. You see how it starts to help with the depression? You can't feel bad if your body's like, okay, we're good. And physiologically, you can be a lot better. So, I'm going to give you some tips to go ahead and get started to really get through your depression. If you really want to get exercise, number one, what you want to do is prioritize your diet. Eat the good foods. You know, it's processed food and unprocessed food that you want to have. So processed food itself is food that's been made, you know, that's been processed itself. Meats, cheeses, um, any snack foods, any, put it this way. If you have to unwrap it, probably it's not the best for you at all. You just eat natural foods. Go to a farmer's market Pick out some nice fresh vegetables and fresh fruit and stock your fridge with it for the week. Go to the grocery store, get some meats, and then you're good. You've got something, you know, you get some eggs from a farm as well. You have a good assortment of meal for the, you know, for the rest of the, you know, so many foods you can eat as well. The biggest thing you want to do when you prioritize your diet, forgive yourself. You're going to eat the bad foods. Now, when you're getting rid of this depression, you are going to still, cra you're going to crave those foods that you did not like. You know, that, I'm sorry, you're going to crave the foods that you like. You're going to crave the cake. You're going to crave the ice cream. It's okay. What you want to do is just go for it. You know, don't feel bad about it, you know, you're, but you want, if you eat the good stuff, okay, you've eaten, um, for lunch, you eat a burger and then you had a salad. Did you choose the fries last week? But you ate the salad. All right. It's progress forward. It's steady steps forward. But what you really need is you need your family and friends help. So that comes to number two. You want to build your tribe. Building your tribe, a tribe, the group of people who will surround you to be able to hold you accountable and then let help you get through it. My mistake at first when I was 305 pounds, taking a walk and never telling anybody about my, my desire to want to lose weight. I was writing a blog on the internet because I didn't want to tell anybody about it. And that was a big mistake. But once I started telling everybody, like my parents, I started telling my wife. Then she was my wife at the time. Um, and then I told my coworkers about it. I started to focus and I started to hold myself accountable. So get your tribe. Get your people together. Take your friends to the gym with you. That's always a good thing. Number three, while we're wrapping up this one, love the hard things. It is not going to be easy, but count your accomplishments. Take your time with it. It's not going to be perfect. The first time you go to the gym, you're going to be exhausted. I went to the gym for the first time. I ran on a treadmill. I'm having a wonderful time on the treadmill. I had 15 minutes. I remember this. And I went, I was so tired. I left slept in there. <laughs> I slept in the, my car for three hours after. But you know what? I did it! Did I never want to do it again? No, I wanted to go back. I wanted to try it because it was tough. But your tribe is going to help you through the tough things.
You see what I mean? And there we are. So we have the three things that you can do in order to work out and cure your depression. Last thing I want to say is I don't want you to be thinking I'm making people feel ashamed. If you have an antidepressant prescribed by your doctor in order to help you with it, that's okay. The anxiety and depression will go down when you exercise and eventually you won't need that. Some people have massively hard disorders that they need the medication for. That's fine. I just don't want anyone to turn to drugs for problems or turn to anything else. But exercise, that's the way to go. Okay. Have yourself a wonderful day, everyone, and hope to see you again soon. If you like this video, there's more in the description. We'll see you later on.